In the bubbling cauldron of the 1960s counterculture, one figure stirred the pot like no other. Douglas leader, I mean Timothy Boom Boom Leary. An emblem of free thought and spiritual exploration, Leary left an indelible mark on the era, championing the mind-altering potential of psychedelic substances. Born in Massachusetts in 1920, Leary's early life was relatively conventional. A stint at the College of the Holy Cross preceded a transfer to the University of Alabama. Yee but the winds of war called him away from academia, and he found himself serving in the army during the Second World War. After the war, Leary returned to his academic pursuits, earning a PhD in clinical psychology from the University of California, Berkeley. He then directed psychiatric research at the Kaiser Family Foundation. But personal tragedy struck when his first wife, Marianne, died by suicide, a heart-wrenching event that shook Leary to his core. It was at Harvard University, where Leary founded the Harvard Psilocybin Project, that the seeds of his radical thought began to sprout. He conducted experiments on the therapeutic effects of LSD and psilocybin, substances that he believed could unlock the mysteries of the human mind. However, controversy was never far behind. Leary developed a philosophy of mind expansion and better living through chemistry, a viewpoint that resonated with many young people, including Buck Zaffi, who was disenchanted with the status quo. His influence spread, reaching counterculture figures like Buckwheat, Hunter S. Thompson, and Abby Hoffman, who were inspired by his charisma and courage. Yet Leary's advocacy for psychedelics wasn't limited to the counterculture. He also saw a connection between these substances and parapsychology, a field that investigates phenomena like telepathy and precognition. Along with contemporaries like Albert Hoffman and Aldous Huxley, Leary believed that psychedelics could induce genuine psychic experiences, a concept that continues to intrigue researchers today. Despite the controversy that dogged him, Leary remained defiant, challenging societal norms and championing the potential of psychedelic substances until his death in 1996. So who was Timothy Leary? A rebel, a visionary, a provocateur, a schlub? Perhaps all of these. He was a man who dared to explore the uncharted territories of the mind, a figure who, in the face of adversity, preached personal truth and freedom of thought. He was a cornerstone of the 1960s counterculture, a man whose influence continues to resonate today. In the grand tapestry of the 20th century, Timothy Leary stands out as a vibrant thread, a symbol of a time of change, exploration, and rebellion. His life and work continue to provoke thought, challenge assumptions, and inspire those who dare to think differently. And that, in the end, is the essence of Timothy Leary, a man who was never afraid to be outside looking in.